Why is our standard model of the universe, which has been so successful in explaining the cosmos, failing to account for these anomalies we are recently witnessing? Is it possible that the laws of physics were different in the early universe, or is our understanding of science still incomplete? In the realm of cosmology, exploring the chronicles of the universe's past and unraveling the enigmas of its inception marks an unparalleled triumph of the previous century, the formulation of a standard model of cosmology. This groundbreaking feat has transformed our comprehension of the cosmos, providing a framework for a more profound insight into the origins and current state of the universe. At the core of the universe's evolutionary narrative resides a force of immense potency and universality, profoundly influencing everything observable today. This influential force is none other than gravity, the propelling agent steering the growth and unfolding of the cosmos. Governed by the principles of general relativity, gravity not only explains the universe's expansion, but also elucidates the formation of extensive cosmic structures. Devoid of gravity, the universe would manifest in a vastly divergent manner, depriving us of the opportunity to marvel at its awe-inspiring phenomena. The cosmos, an expansive realm of mystery and fascination, conceals within its depths a repository of secrets awaiting revelation. Through meticulous observation and analysis, cosmologists have pieced together a picture of the world that includes dark energy, dark matter, normal matter, neutrinos, and photons. This incredible tapestry began to weave 13.8 billion years ago with an explosive event known as the Hot Big Bang. The universe we see today is the result of density imperfections, seeded by a preceding phase of cosmic inflation. But despite the wealth of observational evidence supporting this model, there is always the possibility that it may not be fully correct. With each new observation, cosmologists must check that what they see is consistent with this picture. The recent addition of the James Webb Space Telescope to the arsenal of tools at their disposal begs the question, could this picture be in trouble? The first thing we have to do is lay, based on our picture of the universe, how we expect events to unfold. This picture, called the Standard Model of Cosmology, has been remarkably successful in explaining many features like the internal motions of individual galaxies, the motions of galaxies relative to one another, the motions of galaxies within groups and clusters of galaxies, weak and strong gravitational lensing on all cosmic scales, the structure and growth of the cosmic web, and the features found in the Big Bang's leftover glow, the cosmic microwave background. The model also predicts the gradual shift in the very fabric of the universe the deeper we look into it. What it means is that the galaxies that once shone bright and large will fade into obscurity, shrinking and turning bluer with each step backwards in time. Their evolution stunted, their riches stripped away, until a time will come where the very existence of stars and galaxies will become an enigma. This is the universe's dark ages, a realm that is being put into test by our current limits of sight and comprehension. What we need, if we want to compare theory to observations, is to quantitatively figure out not just what happens, but when it happens and how much it happens by. The very beginning of our universe at the start of the Hot Big Bang was a time of incredible uniformity as revealed by the theory of cosmic inflation and the patterns of fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background. It was an almost perfectly uniform state, a cosmic canvas waiting to be painted with the beauty and complexity of the universe we know today. What happens as gas begins to accumulate in over-dense regions? How efficiently does that gas cool, and how does that affect the growth rate of both normal and dark matter? When stars finally emerge in these early environments, how long do they live, how do they die, and how does that impact the cosmic structures that arise? 
These are the tantalizing questions that keep cosmologists up at night, driving us to uncover the secrets of the universe's earliest moments. The uncertainty that shrouds the answers to all these questions is immense, and their resolution rests entirely on theoretical models and simulations. Is it possible? Is it possible that we've been too narrow in our thinking? How many big, bright, evolved galaxies we should see at slightly later times, like 200, 300, or even 400 million years after the Big Bang, is a much murkier question. Murky. For the first time, owing to the unprecedented capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, we're beginning to discover and characterize galaxies found in these very, very early stages of our cosmic history. Prior to Webb, we had one confirmed galaxy at an age of about 400 million years after the Big Bang. No other stellar or galactic signals from such early epochs had ever been seen. Fast forward to the present day, less than one year after Webb began science operations, and the story has changed dramatically. We have over 100 galaxy candidates from Webb that take us back to the first 400 million years of the universe, and several of them have already been confirmed to indeed be ultra-early and ultra-distant. GNZ 11 already is now only the fifth most distant galaxy known, and it's fully expected that over the next 12 months, not only will the current cosmic record for distance be broken, but that at least dozens of new ultra-early, ultra-distant galaxies will soon be confirmed. Many of these early galaxies that Webb is finding have peculiar puzzling properties about them that appear difficult to reconcile. They appear, for example, to be very massive, very bright, very rich and heavy elements, very actively forming new stars and very rich in gas. The abundance of early galaxies with certain properties poses a puzzle. According to our understanding, gas falls onto these early galaxies and star formation should feed back and prevent future gas from falling in. There's a limit to how fast material can accrete onto these objects, and while certain conditions can temporarily overcome that limit, it should not be sustained over long time scales. Yet we see many galaxies with these properties so early on, suggesting that something is off. The question remains, what exactly is the issue? For one, the early surveys that are pointing to these conflicts are coming from very small and possibly atypical regions of the sky. There are surveys coming that will cover some 50 times the area that are showing these early galaxies, and we might well see a regression to the mean of this apparent effect. For another, it's possible that light from an active supermassive black hole at the centers of these galaxies is polluting our view and making us think that these galaxies are more massive and rich in stars than they actually are. A full spectroscopic analysis of these galaxies, which is not yet available, will be needed to determine if this is the case. For yet another, it's possible that these galaxies are not actually brighter and more massive than we expect, at least not by the amount we've initially concluded, because Webb is overperforming. It could simply be the case, at least in part, that the telescope's better-than-expected eyes make these galaxies appear brighter than they will turn out to be when properly calibrated. Whatever it is, these 100-plus galaxy candidates discovered by Webb only 400 million years after the Big Bang has shaken our understanding of the cosmos. And now, the James Webb T Space Telescope is identifying objects in the Dark Ages that, by best measurements we have, are large, fully developed galaxies. So, who ordered that? This discovery sets the stage for further exploration and excitement in the field of astronomy. Astronomers were left reeling after recent images revealed a mind, boggling discovery, a colossal galaxy, dwarfing even our Milky Way in a pint-sized galaxy deemed too tiny to exist, were found to coexist in the early universe. The unexpected sighting has caused an uproar in the astronomy community, with scientists scrambling to explain how such a cosmic odd couple could end up 
in the same cosmic neighborhood. The implications of this perplexing find are still being studied, leaving many wondering what other mysteries the universe has yet to unveil. Because if it's a new kind of object, that's also a discovery. And so, uh, and, and by the way, the James Webb Space Telescope was conceived and designed to help us understand the origin of galaxies. So we shouldn't be surprised that it's forcing us to scratch our head. As we peer through our telescopes, we unlock the secrets of the universe, gazing into the abyss of time itself. In the deeper we look, the further back we travel, journeying to the distant origins of our cosmos. In the beginning, when our universe was relatively young, it was bursting with nascent stars and galaxies. Our cosmological model charts the evolution of these celestial objects, revealing their stunning transformations over time. Drawing observations from powerful telescopes and the latest advances in physics, the cosmological inflation model has long been accepted as the definitive guide to the universe's early years by scientists around the world. However, recent revelations from the Webb Telescope are shaking the very foundations of this theory. With its unrivaled infrared vision, the Webb Telescope has uncovered secrets that challenge everything we thought we knew about the early universe. Yes, the universe just got a whole lot more mysterious thanks to the groundbreaking discovery made by the Webb Telescope. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Astronomers have found a massive galaxy that shouldn't even exist according to our standard model. This giant galactic behemoth, which formed just 500 million years after the Big Bang, is 10 times more massive than our Milky Way. This discovery has sent shockwaves through the scientific community and has raised serious questions about our current understanding of the cosmos. Are we on the brink of a major cosmological breakthrough? Only time will tell. Scientists from around the world are grappling with a perplexing mystery about the early universe. The biggest galaxies in the universe are thought to have taken billions of years to form, but recently discovered massive galaxies are forming at a breakneck pace, just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. This raises the possibility that the universe was expanding faster than we predicted and requires new forces and particles to explain how these galaxies formed so quickly. Additionally, these galaxies seem to be converting nearly 100% of their gas into stars, which is only possible in theory. What happened after the Big Bang remains an enigma that keeps scientists on their toes. And just when we thought that the situation couldn't get more perplexing, Webb pulls out an UNO reverse. Yes, astronomers have just stumbled upon an unprecedented discovery, a tiny galaxy that is a star, forming machine. The galaxy, located a mere 500 to 550 million years after the Big Bang, is churning out stars at a dizzying rate. This galaxy is only 16 kiloparsecs wide, making it the smallest galaxy we've ever seen that is capable of such a feat. To give you a reference, the Milky Way galaxy is 40,000 parsecs wide. Yes, that's how small the early galaxy is, as per Webb's observation. This discovery has left astronomers scratching their heads. How can a galaxy this small produce stars at a rate that defies all logic? It's a mind, boggling mystery that promises to upend everything we thought we knew about the early universe. What is this mysterious object? Is it a galaxy or something else entirely? Some scientists suggest it may be a star cluster, but it's too large for that. Why is our standard model of the universe, which has been so successful in explaining the cosmos, failing to account for these anomalies? Is it possible that the laws of physics were different in the early universe, or is our understanding of science still incomplete? One theory is that an unknown mechanism accelerated star formation, resulting in these massive and luminous early galaxies. 
Another possibility is that black holes grew rapidly, leading to the formation of numerous massive galaxies. But how did the black holes grow so quickly? Answers to these questions remain a mystery, leaving astronomers to continue to ponder the secrets of the early universe. It is surprising that the Nobel Prize winning scientist Roger Penrose believes that the acceleration of our universe's expansion may have been caused by black holes from a previous universe that were already large. Penrose has observed bright spots in the CMB that could be radiation from ancient black holes predating our universe, and the recent discoveries of the Webb telescope are making a cyclic universe theory even stronger. The question remains, did black holes from the previous universe truly accelerate the expansion after the Big Bang, or are there other mechanisms beyond our current understanding? The unpredictable behavior of early galaxies after the Big Bang is so complex that no existing theory has been able to fully explain it. Is it time to consider alternative theories of the universe's creation to explain its early stages? The standard model seems to be at a loss at this point. If conformal cyclic cosmology holds true and black holes from a previous universe did, in fact, speed up the early universe's expansion, then we will never be able to trace the universe's origins because the cyclic universe theory posits an unending chain of universes connecting to one another. In addition to the Big Bang theory, there are other creation theories, such as the black hole universe, multiverse, and static universe, that could take its place. With the James Webb Telescope, we can expect even more remarkable discoveries in the future that will reveal further secrets about the early universe. Brace yourselves, our idea of the universe is changing forever. If you enjoyed today's video, show us your support by liking and subscribing, or even a cup of coffee will do.